New at 10, when you think ink at a library, you probably think we're talking books, right? Well, today, some literary lovers got some permanent ink on their bodies. As photojournalist Sarah Bingham found out, these new tattoos will help keep our libraries open. This is definitely something that's never been done before, and it's kind of unique. I don't know how many people we've had through, but I would say it's a couple hundred. My goal in life right now is to change the way that the world looks at tattoos. In order to do that, I need to start changing the hearts and minds of everyone, and anyone that may look at tattoos as a negative thing, we want to change that. Just trying to bring tattooing into a location where it's not normally thought of. Get a little Harry Potter action, huh? It's awesome. We're actually inside of a, a library tattooing right now. Kind of like the best place to get a tattoo. So the library reached out to us about doing a, a collaboration fundraiser and uh, we jumped all over it. All right, you ready for this? Let's do it. You know, books are just like an opening to outside world for people and, and for me it helped when I was in some of the darkest times of my own life. I was incarcerated at the age of 18 and uh, I, I just feel like books kind of saved my life. I didn't feel like rehabilitation was on the top agenda for anybody in the prison systems and uh, I had to do it myself and then I started reading self-help books to just try to get a better awareness about who I am and, and just different things in the world that are available to us that we might not know if we didn't have books. Now I think it's awesome to be able to give back to the city of Denver and, and the library to hopefully help some kids here in the city find an alternative so they don't go the same route or if they already have they can see there's a way to kind of recover from bad choices as well. Because if we can encourage kids to come to the library I think it's a good thing.